The mind's ability to control the body, the stuff of folk legends. It's also a staple of the popular media, the tool of quacks and charlatans. But now it's entered the realm of modern science. For the first time, researchers are applying the standards of the laboratory to chart the connections between body and mind. If we understand just what the mind is for, perhaps we can begin to understand just what it can do. The mind is the executive, the interpreter that exists within the very fiber of body and brain. It gives the chaotic world around us meaning. It makes things coherent. What is immortalization? Immortalization is the fast and easy way to live forever through the wonders of science. Why should I immortalize myself? Immortalization takes the stresses out of everyday life such as, when am I going to die? I never got to see the Eiffel Tower. And when will I see flying cars? The pros of immortalization. The pros of immortalization are never having to deal with the pain of a lost one. No more bad and confusing religions. And above all, no need to avoid risk. So you've decided to immortalize yourself. Equipment. To begin, you will need your Fountain of Youth software to create your own avatar, a human adapter cord to connect to your hard drive, and a personality disk to download and store your personality traits. Booting up. To begin, grab your personality disk. These hold various sizes, and the one you choose will affect how much personality you can download. Begin by inserting the disc into the rear of the console. Next, insert the software into the side of the console. Turn on the TV to begin. When the program opens up, use your mouse to make your way through it. Choose the sex you want your avatar to be. Plugging in. At this stage, take the human adapter cord in your hand and plug it into the orifice of your choice. Then, plug the opposite end into the orifice of the console's choice. Start the Emotion Capture Program. This program will activate a series of images on the screen with the intention of causing different emotions, such as humor. These emotions will then be fed through the human adapter cord and translated into files. To create your avatar, drag each of the downloaded files into the personality generator. After a short download, your avatar will be rendered. Interacting with your avatar. getting yourself out there. Now that you are immortal, what do you do? Begin by removing your personality disc and labeling it appropriately. Nick wants his friend Krista to never worry about losing him again. So while Nick enjoys the company of his friend, he decides to surprise her with a copy of his avatar.
Krista can't wait to interact with Nick. Again, insert the personality disc into the rear of the console and turn on the TV. To interact with an avatar, simply speak clearly into a microphone that is plugged into the console. Hey Nick, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing today? I'm good, what do you want to do today? I have nothing in particular in mind that I want to do any day. Troubleshooting. Occasionally your avatar will become overworked and begin performing strangely. When this happens, do not panic. Simply turn off the TV and wait a few days. Thank you, and may your future forever be the present.